Did you go to the Brits, Tori? Did you get to hang out there? I didn't. I, Why not? I flew in like the day after. Oh, okay. I was too late. Okay. But, um, but I heard I heard they were fun. What did you hear? <laughs> what was the stories that you heard? Um, I heard. I, I didn't hear any specific stories. I mean, I know. I know. Just like James Bay got to take home mm-hmm. Brit. I uh, heard Justin Bieber got to mm-hmm. take home a Brit. Two very cool people that I know. They sung around a campfire together. Was that a thing? Yeah. That really that's, happened. That, that's right. It does sound made up, but that was real. Okay, cool. There's a guy. There's a, have you seen the movie Brokeback Mountain? I haven't actually seen it. It's no. like that. Okay. You don't need to watch that movie now. Okay. That's the main part <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, that's the main, the main <laughs> crux of it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to play Hollow, and okay. which is the song that you performed at the Grammys. It is, yeah. And you yeah. got to perform with James Bay. I did. How was yeah. that? And was that a decision that was made after you saw him at Brixton? How did that even come about? Uh, well, I, I had been a fan of his for so long. Uh, just yeah, his album, every like live, everything that he's mm-hmm. done. So we, uh, the first thing was just finding out that we were both nominated for best new artist. That was cool. Mm-hmm. And then um, when the show came to us, the you know the the guys who kind of run the Grammys, mm-hmm. uh, the big wig guys, they they just kind of approached us with the idea, and I was already stoked because I'd been wanting to collab with him. So it was kind of perfect. I mean, we. Uh, Luckily, our, both of our songs kind of fit too yeah. to make like a little mashup. So it was one of those things too where we got to kind of present our version to yeah. them, and they they just loved it. So it's was, it's was cool. It just felt like us. It felt like quite because the Grammys and the Brits like these huge award ceremonies. People like go all out and do yeah. these huge performances. But I thought felt like yours was quite intimate, felt quite personal. Yeah. And I guess that's quite hard to do on a, on a show of that scale. Did it feel like nerve wracking where it's just like you <laughs> and a guitar and James like face to face? Yeah, I mean, I think no matter what, I would have been, I would have been, you know, having butterflies just because it's it's the Grammys, you know, yeah. like even. Just being there is a dream come true. I mean, performing is just like another level to me. So, um, but no, it was it was good. I, I was glad that we were able to strip it down like mm. that. I think that was that was the best thing we could have done because I think it showcased just both of us as artists, and it just felt like really honest. Like we weren't trying to yeah put on a front. Or yeah, there was an amazing moment when I was watching it. <clears throat> where you hit like a certain note mm. and you just like nailed it like <laughs> good, good Tory <laughs> Kelly style and like nailed it and the room was like wow like could uh, you feel that like that felt like a proper goosebumps that, moment. yeah that was awesome it was like yeah it was right in the middle I think yeah of the, of the song but um no I mean I was I was just like floating on a cloud that whole night that was, was super fun for me is it ever distracting when you're performing and you know that everyone in the world is in the room like not just like anyone but your peers as well and yeah. like Beyonce's there is that yeah. ever nerve wracking and like Taylor Swift <laughs> yeah I you know I don't really think about it I don't know how other artists do it but when once you're up there and it's like it's go time uh. I don't really think about anything other than the song and kind of I just try to stay in the moment it's I, I actually got more uh more kind of butterflies and kind of shaky after the performance right. you think it'd be before but afterwards I kind of it's like I snapped out of it I was like oh yeah I'm at the like, what just happened yeah what just happened I just sung at the Grammys <laughs> crazy. Um, well we're going to play it right now if you want to say hello to Tori then you can do eight double one double nine is our number mm-hmm. and this is hello Tori Kelly on the radio on breakfast show BBC Radio 1, Tori joins us this morning on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. Hi, Tori. Hello. What a voice, man. Oh, thanks. How did you, when did you know that, that, that your voice was good? Like when you were a kid? Because kids always <laughs> sing and yeah. like, they're cute and stuff. When was the moment when someone went, this is good? <laughs> uh, I remember being about six years old. Uh-huh. Um, so around, I guess... Three can, years ago. Yeah, three years ago. I uh, was six. And um, <laughs> yeah, I... I I don't know. I always sing around the house, and it's like, you know, you just, it always starts with just the love of it. I, I wasn't, you know, doing it. It's like, oh, this sounds good or whatever. But um, I think when it, once it became, like, it shifted over to, like, oh, this is something I think I could do the rest yeah. of my life. That was, yeah, like, when I started doing local competitions. It's weird that I was only six years old, but I was. Were you really six and singing? Yeah. And did you sound like you do now? Like, did you have a great voice? I think, I, think, I mean, it was a little more whiny probably back then. Uh-huh. A little, like a small person trying to sing, but um, but I don't know. I, I, I give credit to, to my dad because he's, he's a singer himself and he plays bass and he's just kind of, he's always nurtured. My mom too, they've always just uh-huh. like nurtured whatever they saw in their kids, so... 
Um, I give credit to them because they, yeah. They so just, they were quite up for it. Like, you should oh, yeah. be a singer. Absolutely. Because yeah. when yeah, I was they like, saw that I loved it. Yeah, they were yeah. into it. Because when I was like, I want to be a Radio 1 DJ, yeah. my dad was like, that's stupid. <laughs> Go and be an accountant, be look, a lawyer. Look at you now, though. And now, look, look yeah. Now, he's, yeah. He's still saying it. Oh. <laughs> he's literally like, is this it? I'm like, yes. He's like, is this yeah. Is this it? Yes. Um, lots of people want to say hello this morning and send oh, love cool. this morning. Um, Dan's been on saying loving Tori on Grimmy this morning. Uh, looking forward to seeing her tonight at Brixton and on Sunday in Manchester. Oh, sick. So yeah. someone's coming to both. That's dedication. Oh, that's amazing. They're far away as well. Um, <laughs> hello to Kyla, who says currently driving through Oldham uh, to work. Um, that's my hometown. Uh, loving your album. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, your album, the most honest body of work that I've heard in a long time. Wow. Thank Callum. you. That's a huge compliment. You, nice compliments. Yeah. And you've had compliments from like serious people in the game like sam smith is a big fan of yours great, ed yeah. sheeran's a big fan of yours has there been anyone that you've run into or anyone said anything about you that's really blown your mind where you've been like wow they Ooh. know who i am yeah man there's there's been a few even just like i mean nowadays it's like you see a tweet from someone and that <laughs> I and mean, that's like huge too i remember uh when i when i performed on the vmas um pink tweeted me and then i got to meet her shortly after and that was like that was insane for me. Uh -huh. I'm a huge fan of hers. And it's it's people that I don't usually, it's like I wouldn't expect to even meet them in that time. It's always like random and it throws me off. Um, I met uh, Lenny Kravitz recently too. That was crazy. Yeah. I feel like I'm just name dropping now. No, but we like um, it. It's good. What about Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> is Lenny Kravitz really like Lenny Kravitz? Like he's always in a flare and a sort of glittery satin top. Yeah. I mean, when when you meet him, it's like, yeah, it's like what you expect. He's yeah. really sweet. He's really nice. But yeah, he's all he's all like decked out with the glasses. Love that. Yeah, he's a Love rock star. that. Yeah, he is. He doesn't yeah. have days off. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't in like a tracksuit. Like, hey, Tory. And so then what's the plan? You're touring here. And then what's yeah. the plan after that? Do you, do, is this like touring now for like the rest of the year? Is there an ending? site is there new music what's gonna hold for you for 2016 uh right after i leave here which mm -hmm. is already making me sad um, Don't leave i go time. i know i want to say no i'll be back though i'm gonna do um a u.s run in april mm -hmm. and then um after that it's i think it's time for new music <gasps> yeah. do you write a lot of the time are you writing all the time I, I am. It's more like subconsciously, though. I think I'm just always jotting down whether it's like a title or just random phrases and stuff. But um, but I'm excited, especially I think being on the road this time around is going to kind of spark some new ideas. Yeah. too. I get inspired by just like the fans and just being out. and meeting are, you, people. are you feeling inspired right now? Right now. Mm. If you had to write a song about something that's <laughs> happening in this room, where would you go? I would write a song about the cool shirt that you're wearing mm -hmm. i think that'd be a great song mickey mouse mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> be an yeah, amazing song it's, it's, i can't wait for the mouse. new album yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be it's gonna be really good it's gonna be amazing <laughs> it's gonna be amazing and then when you've wrote those songs is there anyone yeah. that you you run them past like do you do you play them to like your friends or mm. do you play them to like management or do you just like do you know it's good I, I'm always interested in that because if i wrote yeah. a song and then i played it to like <laughs> scooter braun and he's like that sucks <laughs> Does that hurt your feelings ever? Like, who do you who do you play those songs to? Yeah, it's it's a sensitive thing because you know you put you put a lot of time and and yeah. a lot of your heart into these songs. But um, I I try not to take everyone's opinion so strongly. I guess there are certain people I really respect their uh -huh. opinion, and it is a team effort. You know, when you're making an album, but there's people you know, like my friends where it's. You play songs for certain people. I think to get an idea. Like there's the industry people they uh -huh. trust, and then there's like my little brother or something who yeah. will just like you can tell right away if they if he loves it and that i think that represents more of like the like the fan i guess uh. the the uh, the average listener or whatever. Yeah, they're not so working out the stats. They're yeah. Like, it's good it's, or bad. Right. So it's just, good. there's just different ways to, to treat it, I think. It's fun to get like a wide range yeah. of opinions on it. Now, you do see, we've, we've mentioned all these people this morning, like Ed Sheeran and James Bay and Sam Smith. These are all great British guys that, you know, yeah. are big, big fans of yours. Is there anyone out there that you would collaborate with in Britain right now? Is there any British acts that you are loving? Oh, man. Mm, there is, I'm, I'm almost positive they're from here. I'll, be sad if they're not um because <laughs> i'll be lying to you but uh there's a there's a group i found on youtube called third story right they're just that i think they mostly have just covers right now but they're like they're nuts to like their harmonies are amazing um the guy who's who's opening for me too on on these these next couple shows sam henshaw right. i love him um gosh 
It's tricky. There's so many. There's good so many good guys. Yeah, so many good guys. Research. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of um, Matrix and Futurebound and Max Marshall. This is Control on BBC Radio One. Time to make the club go up. And Carla, that is rinse and repeat on BBC Radio 1. Uh, morning, everybody. 8.36 on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. We have Tori Kelly here. Good morning. Morning. Uh, going to be performing at Brixton Academy tonight. Yes. Are you coming? I'm going to come. Can I come? <laughs> yeah, you can Is there room? Yeah. See, here's the <laughs> issue. I promised my friend uh -huh. tonight I'd go to the theatre. Okay. So maybe if you do a plea to her. Yes. To Colette. What? Colette. Yeah. Colette, if you're listening, please, please, please come to my show. You will not regret it. It will be so much fun. Can you offer her any, any money? I will. Or? Any, any money? Um, something. I'll, th I'll think about that. Uh -huh. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Okay. Yes, we yeah. can make Scooter? that happen. <laughs> Scooter's going to pay her. See, the theater can wait, you know? Okay. The theater, the theater can, can wait. wait. How It'll much, be here. How much, Scooter? Whatever it is. <laughs> okay. I love for Colette. I mean, it's for Colette, guys. This is for Colette. Anyway, um, we have people that are already... At Brixton. Yeah. What time are you on stage tonight? I think eight-ish. Eight-ish? Eight-ish? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm the star. I it don't know. It feels like so long. <laughs> like I mean, it, it ain't at 10 a.m. It's in like 12 wow. hours. There's people there right now. There are people there right That's now. Crazy. Um, Miranda, good morning. Hi. Hi, hi Miranda. And um, there's Miranda, hi. there's Becca, and there's Tom. Hi, Miranda, yeah. Becca, and Tom. Hi! Hi, Tori Kelly's here. Hi, Tori. We love you. We love you so much. Oh, I love you too. You guys are you guys are in line right now at Brixton? Yeah, yeah. We're the we're the only ones here at the moment. We've been here since five. Oh my goodness! Wow. That's... Yeah, we're, we're, and we're doing the same thing as well. We've travelled from Cardiff. We travelled last night. Wow. And we're going from your from here. We're going to Birmingham, and we're doing the same thing. And then we're going to Manchester and doing the same thing oh again. My God. So oh my god! Oh wow! I, I gotta see you guys. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, and sorry, I lost the best. So uh, if I get to meet you, I'm wearing a hot dog suit. So look out for me. A hot dog? Oh yeah, that's easy to find. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, that's what I was gonna <laughs> wear tonight. <laughs> Dressed up as a hot dog. A hot dog suit, got it. So if you're yeah. performing tonight at Brixton, you're doing a heartfelt song, yeah. Tori, and you look out and there's a woman dressed as a hot dog, that's Becca. To the, yeah, dedicated to Becca and the hot dog suit. Yeah. Um, is there <laughs> anything that you'd like to ask Tori while she, we're on the phone to her this morning? Uh, yeah, Tori, can you promise us that you'll be back again soon after this? Oh, absolutely. That That's oh, an easy promise. I love it out here. Oh, amazing. Brilliant. We love you so much. Thank oh. you, Tori. Thank you so much. Right, I'll see you guys tonight. Oh my god, you're on tour with Tori. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we might if we can, we might also be trying to get tickets and going to Glasgow as well. <laughs> wow. wow. That's, dedication. That's amazing. Try. I love you guys. That's so cool. I love you. Bye, <laughs> Tori. Bye. Bye, guys. bye. Bye. Bye bye. Wow, that's dedication. That's nice. Isn't it? That's yes. crazy. Who was I it? I hope they're staying warm though. I just realized how cold it is. Well they've got the hot dog costume. True. That's true. What, no one's yeah. ever been cold dressed as a hot dog. Yeah. Um also that might be quite funny to tonight when there's like a party on yeah. and there's like a, you know loads of people excited to see you perform that's less funny at 8 39 on a friday morning on brixton high street yeah i mean i, I would think it's funny yeah maybe yeah. i would walk by and be like and, you know giggle you'd be like she's bit. crazy what, watch <laughs> no. your handbag this goes crazy um who